All right, well, September 6th, mark your calendar. That is now First Amendment Day in East Point, Michigan. Not because city officials love the First Amendment so much, but because they had to settle a lawsuit for taking First Amendment rights from their citizens. And now as part of that lawsuit, they've been forced to declare September 6th First Amendment Day. This became a thing after former mayor Monique Owens shut down what should have been healthy debate by her own citizens. The hearing of the public is now open. Oh. You're not going to I sit here and stop. assault me, lady I never met. I am don't so call my name because I don't know yeah, what book you're reading and, and I don't care. Okay, you know what? I'm going to stop you right there or we're going we're gonna to stop the council meeting. Here, you had a letter no speak. Idea. This you is a personal angry. matter. It's not about criticizing. Oh you can criticize my policy. Stop you stop it. it. What's the people to you, you stop it. it. You are out, you are out of line. You are out of line. You're out of line. You're out of line. Out of out of line. line. Now, do you want to stand there and talk about your cats and your dogs in the community, but you won't talk about you know, me? Okay. <laughs> I wonder why she didn't get reelected. That's shocking. Also, I love her comeback. That sounds like something my 11-year-old daughter would say. The, the woman's like trying to speak. She's like, I'm here. It's an open debate. This is a council meeting. I'm t giving you my point. And, and Mrs. Mrs. Mayor, you're out of line. No, you're out of line. No, you're out of line. Good, she, real, that, good, she really told her, that good, lady. Yeah, good comeback. It's the classic no you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. You're out can't, of line. It can't fail. It cannot fail. Right. Well, it turns out it is your First Amendment right as an American citizen to criti criticize your government. Um, so those four people joined together to sue the city for shutting down their First Amendment right to criticize their government. They were represented by FIRE, which is the Foundation for Individual Rights and Expression. Uh, they are a free speech legal foundation. So anytime somebody has their First Amendment rights uh, taken from them, which is very often these days, FIRE is the place to go to find yourself a lawyer. They say they are busier than ever. But as a result of this litigation, here is what this city uh, in Michigan agreed to. First of all, they had a consent degree prohibiting the city from enforcing unconstitutional limitation on public uh, comments such as the video we just saw. They passed a resolution to apologize to these plaintiffs. They established September 6th as an annual First Amendment Day in East Point. I would love to see then the local schools getting a visitor from fire to talk about First Amendment rights. That would be amazing in the year 2024. Also, each plaintiff gets $17,910 a sum representing the year of the First Amendment's ratification, 1791, plus they get their attorney's fees paid by the city and a total of eight for a total of $83,000. That's how much that lady cost the city for treating her constituents like that. I am loving this outcome. I would love to uh, propose that September 6th become a federal holiday, First Amendment Day. But we're not there yet because there's still a lot of work to be got done. Here are some of the other things Fire says that they're busier than ever with. Here's one that's just maybe kind of fun. We'll see what you think of this. Uh, college boys were punished for sending a Snapchat of a penis drawing on a pizza box. The university called the drawing a symbol of white male power and domination. <laughs> now, I looked for this Snapchat. I didn't find it. I'm very curious how they know that it was a white penis. If it was just a drawing, unless they used markers or crayons, why is the penis in general a symbol of white whiteness? Maybe or if you don't color it in and it's just, just clear the outline, because they just do the outline, it's yeah. automatically assumed it's white. Hmm. Yeah, like David, when you draw, well, what color when was you the draw pizza them up, box. <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> if it was red, <laughs> right? Yes. It was written, It was drawn on a, a Papa John's box. Right. Is the penis by default white? Isn't that a racist thing to say? Don't you think? I'm not going to touch that one. Okay. Yeah. We'll leave it there. I, Let me know what you think about that in the just comments. Just for the record, Clayton, not touching the penis. Yeah, that's, that's right. I'm not touching that one. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, here's what Fire says. He says, it is the boy's right, even though it may be slightly distasteful, to dick pick a pizza pox. Can I not say that? We'll did. find out. Okay. <laughs> 
You are supposed to be able to do that. Uh, says student free speech rights do not end at the sensibilities of university officials. In fact, the Supreme Court established that the mere dissemination of ideas, no matter how offensive to good taste, on a state university campus may not be shut off in the name of conventions of decency. Uh, I encourage you to pa pause this screen and read the rest of this because of what Lenny, this Lenny Bruce comment below. Um, he does use the F word, but it's interesting, right? Because we are speaking here even for speech we don't like and for the ability to criticize our government, which is being taken from us. Now, here's one that's a little bit more serious. Well, quite a bit more serious, I think, something that FIRE is also watching. The University of Southern California, my alma mater, uh, canceled a valedictorian speech because they are afraid that the girl who earned this spot will criticize Israel. FIRE does not represent this case, yet they may soon. This is Asna Tabasum. She has made social media posts against Israel and says that Israel is occupying Palestinian lands. So the school will not let her speak at graduation, as is tradition, because she earned the valedictorian academic award. The school provost said that this tradition must give way to safety. The girl said that when she asked the school, well, do you have any security that can deal with this and give me my right to speak? The university said this is not what they want to present as an image. Uh, and so she will not be given this award. There are calls for her to be allowed to speak, but so far the university is standing strong that they won't. Will they see so a lawsuit what, so what around image, this? Hmm. What image are they wanting to project then? Like they don't, they don't want right. the image of free speech and that the valedictorian gets to give their speech. They want the image of what? Con of control? Absence? Yeah. I Suppression? mean, well, it, it, I suppose. I, I mean, are they, are they suggesting that if she speaks about a ceasefire that they are taking that, that that's going to be the perceived position of their school? Yes. Is that what they're saying? Yeah. Yes. That they cannot allow what? her to speak for a ceasefire or speak out on behalf of the people of Gaza. It's not her. It's not her right to do that, um, even though it is tradition that she would be able to speak as school valedictorian. So where was I? Uh, it does seem these days that free speech does not extend to criticism of Israel at all. Google fired 28 people for their participation in a 10 hour sit in to pro protest the company's ties with Israel, which is interesting because Google responded when they had protests from employees about Black Lives Matter and the company's uh, maybe tackling of racism, Google actually made changes to their business model and listened to protesters around Black Lives Matter. But when it comes to Israel, nope, can't you hear cannot it. cannot possibly, you cannot criticize. No. Nope. You, can, you cannot do it. Cannot even be seen doing it, supporting it, can't hear that. So why no. some groups and not others get to protest? Uh, this is what you get when you allow woke capitalism inside your business. You get, you have to choose the winners and the losers. And guess what? Everybody loses when ideology is the politics of your company. The only way to do this is to do what Coinbase did in 2021, when CEO Brian Armstrong sent an email to employees saying that they would be a crypto company and nothing else. They would not tolerate demands for social change or politics inside their company. No gender ideology, no representation, nothing. No campaigning with the company. That then, doesn't mean you can't talk about it on your own. That means you cannot demand it of the company. So they offered resignation packages to anyone who just couldn't deal with that. And about 60 people took it. And the rest of them just happily went about their business. Go ahead. And then a week later, they were investigated by the SEC. Oh, th yeah, that's interesting, right? Uh, they're doing okay since, but, uh, you know, the... Uh, the fire fire CEO Greg Lukianov talks about, or not fire representative Greg Lukianov talks about how really this made for such a happier workforce, and it lowers their exposure to litigation, and it allows for free speech to actually happen, but not as a mandate of the company. So that's interesting. Let me know what you think of that hmm. in the chat below. Do you think those things are related? The SEC, the no politics and the SEC? I mean, I don't know, but it's just convenient that suddenly, you know, the government wants to 
wants to look into these companies, these crypto companies, looks look at, wants to look into Coinbase when they take a stand against DEI and this kind of garbage. Right. Um, you know, it's refreshing. It's certainly, if you read Vivek Ramaswamy's book, Woke Incorporated, it's a great read because he talks about why companies should be doing this, which is to remove woke politics from their business, right? They should be focusing on their business. Right. If they're a medicine company, they're a medicine company. And the way that Apple, you know, every like month, Apple has like some apple.com, their front page is like this, you know, now we're honoring it's, they do the whole, you know, the black Asian history, Heritage month. then it's Asian month, Heritage, but then it's, all it's all their virtue signaling on a regular basis, you know, and all of these companies do it. Google does it on a regular basis. And, and all of these big tech companies, Facebook does it on a regular basis, which is, you know, so it's, it's refreshing to have some that don't do it. Yeah. Yeah. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. You know, YouTube thinks that you'll actually like this next video right here. It's personalized based on your own viewing habits. So if you watch the video, please leave a comment. Let us know what you think about it. And we will see you next time, everyone.